Combining charts in Microsoft PowerPoint can be a powerful way to convey information effectively. However, it's important to use this approach judiciously to ensure clarity and avoid confusion. This video shows the scenarios and guidelines for when to combine charts and when not to. Let's look at when to combine charts. First reason, comparing data sets. When you want to compare different data sets that share a common axis, such as time. As an example, let's combine line charts to show the correlation between the velocity planned against delivered. Click on for chart and enter the additional data into the chart, including the series names and values. Right-click on the chart and select the change chart type. Choose the combo chart type and select the chart types you want to combine. Next reason, highlighting relationships. When you want to emphasize relationships or trends between two or more variables. As an example, combining a bar chart with a line chart to show the relationship between velocity delivered and bugs reported. Let's see how to combine such charts. Next reason, enhancing understanding. When combining charts enhances the audience's understanding of the data. As an example, using a combination of bar chart and line charts to represent different performance metrics for a bug found while delivering. This helps you find if the relation of change in velocity to the change in bugs. Here is how to combine such charts. When not to combine charts. First reason, mismatched scales. When the scales of the data sets are significantly different. As an example, combining a chart with values in the hundreds with a chart with values in the single digits. If combined, the chart becomes unreadable. Next reason, unrelated data sets. When the data sets are unrelated, combining them would create confusion. As an example, avoid combining a chart on margin per project with a chart on employee satisfaction per month. There are two different time scales here, project timeline and month. Also, not always margin may be related to employee satisfaction. Summary. Remember, the key is to enhance clarity and understanding, not to overwhelm your audience with unnecessary complexity. Tailor your approach to the specific needs of your data and the preferences of your audience. I hope you liked this video. If you want more such content then please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates. See you in the next video.